Hello, and thank you for your participation in the Census Bureau's Construction Progress Reporting Survey, or CPRS. This brief tutorial will guide you through the online reporting system and hopefully answer any questions you may have. If you need additional assistance, you may call 800-845-8246 or 301-763-1605. Respondents may be contacted in multiple ways, including initial letters containing a hard copy of the survey form, follow-up letters, and emails. Each method of contact contains a user ID, password, and link directing respondents to the survey page. Once on the CPRS welcome page, Enter your user ID and password and select Log In. This will take you to the main menu. Next to Mailing Information, select the Edit button to open a window in which you may update contact information. The main menu page will also show all your projects that have been selected for our survey, as well as the status of each project. Click on the Start button to begin a survey. This first page of questions, containing sections A and B, will be partially or completely filled in with a description of the project and some basic information. You may add, change, or delete any information. Please be sure to include your email address. Also, please note, at any time, select the blue question mark icons to access reporting instructions about the survey. Click Next to move to the next page. This page, Section C, asks for the ownership and start date of the project, as well as a projected completion date. Select the radio button for ownership status. Use the drop-down buttons to enter the start date and estimated project completion date. You will also have an opportunity to enter the actual completion date later. Click Next to move to the next page. Section D asks for the cost estimates for the project. There are examples given of what we would like you to include, as well as what should be excluded. Physical buildings and site work should be included, but land purchases and architectural and engineering costs should not be included, though we would like an estimate of them in Item 6. Enter the Contract Construction Cost, 5A, as well as any owner-supplied materials and labor, 5B. The total construction cost, 5C, is the sum of 5A and 5B. You may enter it or click on the Calculate button to allow the website to sum them. The value you enter should be in thousands of dollars. So for example, if you are reporting $1 million, you should enter 1,000 in the box. This applies to all values you will provide for this survey. Item 6 is where you may enter any architectural, engineering, and miscellaneous costs. Again, some examples have been provided. If you are reporting on a manufacturing project, you will see Item 7, Capital Expenditures, again with some examples. Click Next to move to the next page. Section E asks for the monthly costs of the project. The value of work done in each month is entered here. It should include spending from Item 5C on the previous page, but not Item 6 or 7 if this is a manufacturing project. Please take a moment to read the bullet points before entering the monthly spending amounts. If costs are not available, do not put zero dollars. Please leave the value blank. If the project is already finished, you may enter the month and year of completion in Section 8B. If the project is at or above 97%, you may consider it complete and enter the date. Click Next to move to the next page. Section E, Item 9, Remarks, gives you an area to add any relevant comments. Examples would be an explanation of several months of no spending for a winter shutdown or worker strike, reasons why a value may have changed, for instance, contract amount increased or decreased, or monthly spending amount was adjusted, or to communicate a short message about the project, for instance, invalid contract number or the project has been canceled. Click Next to move to the next page. The last page is a review of your responses. If there are any issues, you may click on the link for the appropriate section to return to that section and make any adjustments. If there are no issues, you may click on the Submit Data button, which will complete the survey for this project and take you back to the main menu. If you have more projects, you may select the next one to begin.
If you only have one project, you're finished. Thank you. Again, if you have any questions about the survey or data we are requesting that aren't listed, please call 800-845-8246 or 301-763-1605. The Census Bureau thanks you for your valuable data and participation.